Hey guys, it's me. I just wanted to show you a quick tutorial. Um, this is actually really simple. Um, it's using a vanilla folder. Um, I got these at the... I actually got these at Dollar Tree. This is a 10 count. Um, so I'm going to show you real quick how you do this. It's so simple and it's so awesome. Okay, you'll, you just open it up. This is the crease line that you want. So you'll leave that one alone. It's already there. You want to take this side and fold it over and just about there, like right at the line, you'll match it up. You'll take your bone folder and just fold that in. Now what you want to do is flip it, once you have this fold, flip it over. Then go with the crease line and just make that crease over like this. And then you'll take this and you'll just make the line right there. Because then that's how you know where to fold this line. So then you flip it back over and you, I just kind of just go like this and go with the line that I made and it basically folds itself. Now, I just want to point out, if you do take a regular one, if you do take this and think, oh well I can just fold this one and fold this one like this to the line, they're not even. This side is not the same size as this side. So you have to do it like this. You have to fold it like this. I'm showing you one more time. Fold it like this. And then take the whole thing. Flip it over. Go with that crease line and just fold it back like that. And then you'll mark your line. I use a bone folder and I'm not even I'm not even using nothing. I'm just using the bone folder. You can use the back of a pencil or a pen or something like this like this pen that has a sharp point you just make your line and then like what I usually do is by that point your line is kind of intact and then you just kind of fold it over so then you have your folds so it kind of is like an accordion I'm not going to use that one because it's pink I don't want you guys to see this so then you have this. Now you say, how do you get your pockets? Well, it doesn't matter how you get your pockets. You just take it, you take this piece, and decide where you want your pockets to be, and you just fold it up. If you want your pockets longer, you can make it longer. You go like this, and then you just put it on there. And then you can just have some double, double stick tape, which oh, I guess I'll do this part real quick for you. I'll kind of show you. What I do, I just kind of put some double stick tape there, and I just put it on each side. I just thought this um, tutorial was awesome, and it's a good way for people that don't really um, know how to make flip books that well. Uh, I'm not real good at making the flip books, honestly. I've tried it, and every time I try it, I'm trying to like put them together with the washi tape and this and that and the washi never holds right and I want my stuff to be sturdy and stay in there and be intact um, so I mean I don't really think that the ones that I've made I don't like them so I don't want to send them out because I don't I, I don't feel like they're strong enough um, but these are awesome and I really like making these um, I've only made a couple of them and well I've only made one actually that's been like fully processed uh, I've done this step a couple times already um, but I found this on YouTube um, I can't remember the channel um, I'll try and find it and link it down below so you could watch that video but I just want to share it with you guys so that any of my subscribers um, could know how to do this. I'm sorry, I don't have very long fingernails, so it's really hard for me to get these pieces of double stick tape up. Okay, and then I just stick it on there, and now it's ready to be used. And I'm going to also show you one that's kind of complete. It's not like officially complete, but then there you have it. 
And if you wanted, like this, I have two of these. You could stick them together. And then you have an extra big book. You can stick them together. Um, I would honestly just like glue these two together like this. And then, bam. You have like an extra, extra huge book. Um, but that's that. And you have your pockets and then you decorate it. Um, I'll show you one that I kind of have com complete. It's not really complete. It's half decorated. So just bear with me. This actually lights up. I'm going to put um, who's ever name right there. Um, this is like a Halloween one. And then this is kind of like the, what the inside I've done so far with it. It is definitely not complete. But I just want to show you like what you can do. You can put little tags in these pockets. You can put goodies in all these pockets. And then I have to decorate the back as well. But that's kind of what it looks like. Um, if anybody wants to do a Halloween uh, flip book swap with me, let me know. Because this is going to be up for grabs once it's finished. Um, it's not finished. And I'm probably going to be making a couple more because I love it. And I love making these. These are so simple, so easy. And I love the pockets. And I just want to share it with you guys. So, um... I hope you guys like it. Please hit the like button if you haven't already. Please subscribe for if you want to see more tutorials coming up. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.